Certainly are. Storm Lillian, of course, caused a lot of disruption with some particularly blustery winds yesterday. Um, it's still going to be windy this weekend, but not as windy. Storm Lillian has, of course, now cleared our shores, but there will be quite a lot of rain around, and that's mostly towards the south today. But I think most of us are going to track a, a gradual improvement as we head through the weekend. Of course, it's a bank holiday weekend for many of us, but this is how we are starting off the day. So there's a lot of rain towards the south at the moment. It's a brighter start though further north and west but still some more showers out towards the north and the west but this is the focus of all of our weather today I'm afraid. All of this rain just feeding in from the southwest so it's really just clearing away from southwest um, up towards East Anglia as we head through the course of the morning. Now some spots could see quite a lot of rain within a short space of time. There will be some heavy downpours across southeast England. has seen quite a dry August so far so welcome rain for the gardens but some of that rain could lead to some localised flooding. It's all moving Moving away into the North Sea though into the afternoon. Sunny spells, heavy thundery showers may be following on behind and for the rest of the UK well some sunny spells but also some showers most of those showers across northwest Scotland where it's staying really rather windy still and it's breezy wherever you are but just not as windy as it was yesterday and cool too for the time of year. Temperatures are well below par. Now Overnight tonight, it's going to be a chilly one. So a lot of the showers will fade away. There'll be plenty of clear spells, but most of our temperatures, I think, will dip back into high single figures. So not feeling very much like late August as we start off Sunday. We've got more weather fronts on the way. This time, the focus for the heaviest of the rain will tend to be across southwestern Scotland, down through northwest England, and perhaps for North Wales as well. Of course, just where we don't need the rain, where it's been very wet recently. Northern Scotland, sunny spells and some showers. Hours, but for much of England and Wales, it's looking drier with some sunny spells and some areas of cloud, a few showers perhaps out towards the west. But it's still rather windy for the time of year, still quite blustery and temperatures still below the average, but starting to rise now in southeast England where we could possibly get to 20 degrees Celsius. But an improving picture for most of us into bank holiday Monday. High pressure starts to build in from the south. Still a few showers out towards the north and the west, but I think for many of us, it is going to be a much drier day. Yes, it will be cloudy at times, but there'll also be some bright and some sunny spells. So temperatures creeping back up to where we'd expect them to be at this time of year. So generally high teens, low 20s in Celsius. And if we just take a quick look at the outlook for the rest of the week, of course, last week of the summer holidays for many of our children, then uh, temperatures in the south could get close to 30 degrees Celsius, always cooler further north and west, Charlie and Rachel. Elizabeth, thank you very much. Rachel, good morning to you at home as well. Now, Storm Lillian brought us some very strong gusty winds yesterday, gusting as high as 60 to 70 miles an hour. It's cleared away now, but it has been a rather wet and a windy night. And in fact, there's still a lot of rain across many parts of England at the moment, through South Wales as well. Bit of a contrasting start, though, further north and west, where we've got some brightness and some sunshine. So if we take a look at the rest of the weekend, a bank holiday weekend, of course, for summer, of us, not for all of us, it's not in Scotland. Um, there is some rain around for some of us at times, but a gradually improving picture as we head into what is Bank Holiday Monday. So let's just take a look at what's happening this morning then. So here's all of that rain. It's mostly across southern England, stretching up to parts of Lincolnshire, Yorkshire as well, also affecting southeastern areas of Wales. It's all going to be clearing northwards and eastwards as we head through the rest of the morning, but some heavy downpours of rain, particularly for parts of south East England, East Anglia through to Essex, perhaps um, some heavy rain, possibly leading to some localised flooding. It has been dry here for much of August, so welcome rain, I think, for some of those gardens. But still a wet start to the day, sunny spells and thundery showers possibly following on behind, but it should have all gone by the time we get to the middle part of the afternoon. Elsewhere across the rest of the UK, sunny spells and some showers. It's still rather windy for the time of year, not as windy as it was yesterday. Most of those showers out towards northern and western areas of Scotland. It's also cool for the time of year. These temperatures are below the seasonal average. And it's all going to lead on to what's going to be quite a chilly night tonight. There will be some clear spells, a few showers around, particularly towards the north and the west. Temperatures dropping back into high single figures. So it's not going to feel very much like a late August as we start off the day tomorrow. And yes, there is more rain on the way. But this time, the focus of the heaviest downpours of rain will tend to be across Northern Ireland 
through northwest England up through southwest Scotland too. So just where we don't need it, where we've seen some very wet days recently. So more rain here, but for much of England and Wales, it's a much drier story. Still breezy for the time of year, but lots of dry weather here with some sunny spells and temperatures will start to rise just a little as well. And also for the far north of Scotland, a scattering of showers, but also some sunny spells. Leads on to Monday, of course, when we see high pressure start to build in from the south. So it's a better looking day across the board. There will still be some showers out towards the north and the west. Areas of cloud elsewhere, still rather breezy, but some sunny spells and temperatures back now to average. That's the forecast, Rachel.